Okay, some of you uh, might have seen the video of this uh, magnificent engine uh, running on YouTube and um, thank you for all the comments that I received but one of the uh, comments, in fact quite a few comments that uh, came through was regarding the the noise the engine made on the rundown and uh, some of you may recall that it uh, tends to be quite noisy and I had some remarks from people saying that um, maybe the bearings were, were broken or there was some other fault with the engine so what I wanted to do is to try and dispel that myth and have a look at the front fan of this engine as that is where the sound is coming from and I hopefully should be able to explain to you um, all about that. So what we'll do is we'll get up into this air intake for a better look. Right, as you can see now, we're now inside the air intake of the engine and just to point out a few parts this up here is the spinner and this is connected to the uh, rotating assembly of the engine and so here you can see all the fan blades I'll just turn those slightly and looking at the wall of the air intake you can see it's not really made of that much and in fact if I just tap it it's fairly hollow and up front if we can if I can just get the camera to look you can see that the the skin of the air intake is made of multiple perforations and what this is for is uh, to blow hot air uh, from the compressor to prevent the um, uh, ice formation on the fan blades when the plane is flying at high altitude because obviously the outside air temperature is usually in the order of about minus 50 degrees so coming to the fan blades themselves okay what you have on this particular engine is uh, 33 blades of titanium and you can see them there that's just one of them and what's interesting if you compare this to uh, modern engines which have what they call wide cord, bl wide cord uh, blades uh, you'll notice on the, on, on the RB211 we have um, clappers collecting each blade and if I can just show you each the blades are actually quite loose if I, if I rattle them like that you can see each blade moves inside the the bottom here which is what the, where, where the, blade, the blade is connected to the rotating assembly and uh, the bottom of this blade is a is a fir, what they call a fir tree um, which allows the blade to move. So the noise you're hearing when the engine runs down um, is basically the clappers, you know, that's the clapper there, banging against the clapper of the adjacent blade. So if I move that again, in fact if we didn't have that noise, we'd actually be quite worried. So what I can do now, just to show you, if I give the blades a push, you can hear that noise and just to another little demonstration which is quite interesting as well just to show you that there's nothing wrong with the bearings I can actually push this whole assembly just literally with one finger there we go So that's the uh, that's the front fan up front, and just to, as you can see each blade passing, you can also notice that behind the front fan you've got some uh, further blades, and the further ones that are that are nearest the casing, those are the um, cold stream uh, guide ducts or guide vanes, which basically straighten out the stream of air coming out the uh, cold stream duct, and then finally, if we have a look at the veins you can just see through here that's actually uh, the um, the main core of the engine um, which is responsible for generating the power of the of the fan 
And one last thing before we go, that little pitot tube there, that is a what they call a P1 uh, pressure sensor and that just measures the, the um, uh, air pressure coming into the engine and it's connected up to various uh, things like the fuel flow regulator and also the uh, engine pressure ratio which is a measure of the thrust of the engine. So there we have it, that's the front fan.